Now, celebrating all things cool in Jacksonville, a local show with a spotlight on the 904 with hosts Eden Candle and Mark Payton, featuring amazing stories from every neighborhood with Rance Adams. This is River City Live. Welcome to River City Live and happy Monday. Now, I know a lot of people were out this weekend doing some shopping. Now, last Monday, we had some Jack's Moms bloggers on here helping us out. And we figured, why not today? I'd like to welcome Stacy McDonald Taylor. And instead of shopping tips, we have back to school tips on tradition. But before we dive into that, who did some back to school shopping this weekend? Crazy as it seems, I, I ventured in. I did. Did you? Yeah. And yeah, yeah. And I thought, okay, well, let's uh, let's try to be strategic here. And I used some of those tips that we had talked about and heard about, and you know, kind of had a plan and everything. But everything went wrong. And by the way, <laughs> I got to give it up for the employees at Forever Twenty One at the Avenues Mall. No air conditioning. It was broken from the, <laughs> since the day before. They were in there with no AC, and the line was out shopping. the door. Forever <laughs> 21. How cute is that? <laughs> okay, uh, it, might, it might have been for the uh, girl child. Might have. But, I, but I'm not about <laughs> it because they had a DJ and everything. A <laughs> DJ? Yeah. I drove by the traffic going to the outlets, uh, heading to the beach, and I was like, Good luck. <laughs> so no for you. Stacy. what about you? No, I did not do any shopping this weekend. I did it in advance. We were out of town. <laughs> oh, nice. That's, that's a good time to go out of town. Mm -hmm. I totally took advantage of what I learned last Monday. One of the things that we talked about was Target. There's basically like an app you could go on. You could find your kid's school, the class, and all that stuff, and everything is done. You just go and you pick up your stuff. That's the so that's the amazing. supplies, the yeah. supplies. Yeah. All okay. the supplies, and it was nice. I, I didn't do it, Jamie did, but she was like, that was really good, nice time saver. And then too, if you're shopping with kids, which a lot of us are, it's just cool, you just go there and just pick it up. Pick it up. Yeah. So you yes. lucked out though, because she's got to shop for the girl child. Your boys, you're just like, Shorts, T-shirt, you guys good? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. It, you know, it's funny, <laughs> with boys, the trend is they just like athletic gear if they're in the sports or not. Because <laughs> it, it's right. comfortable. Well, when they play their little iPads, it's comfortable to have a dry fit <laughs> shirt on and some comfortable shorts. But it, it is. It's the easiest thing to no, do. It, it definitely is. In fact, we were uh, walking around shopping and we bought a dress that she will never wear to school. <laughs> and, and maybe even, it, it might even go for homecoming. We don't know yet. We And then I picked up a few things. And then finally, we're like, we've been here two hours and have no back to school clothes. Not yeah. one thing. Well, let's talk about this. You got the outfits picked out mm -hmm. now, and then you have to do the tradition part where you take pictures and all that other stuff. And Stacey, you have some great ideas about this, capturing these moments. Right, absolutely. So one of the things that we have on the Jacksonville Moms blog is a template that you can print out, and it makes a look-alike chalkboard sign that says first day of school, and you can put whatever grade and the year. And so that's really wonderful, and we always love to see that. Um, on the Jacksonville Moms blog. Oh, that's so, so. cute. And yeah, so then you cute? use that every single year and you'll never forget. Very yeah, cute. absolutely. Does it change grades? Yeah, we, you have okay. all the, we have all the amazing, yeah. <laughs> I just want to make sure yes, I have to cross it out. <laughs> no, you can print it off and, and print it out, and we love it if you'll tag it and share it so that we can see them, because we all love to see our kids going back to school, even though we're totally bummed that summer is over. At least I am. Oh, are you? <laughs> yes, I am. I know there are some that aren't, but <laughs> I'm really bummed. And I, But regardless of that, I want to create excitement for my kids so that they can get back into the groove and have the best time. And also, we have to give a shout-out, because all of our Duval County teachers are back today. Oh wow. They're working yeah. hard to get things ready so we need to prep our kids and get them ready and excited. So there are a couple of other things that you can do which we have a blog post out there that Meg did um, that's fantastic about creating new traditions in your family like maybe having a dinner or a breakfast special just around the day and she does something that's pretty cool I think which is to make something called a shultuda which is a cardboard cone that they then fill. It's adorable. Um, That's yeah, cool. it's super cute. And they do that specifically, I think, for first graders that are heading into uh, their new school year. And you fill it with sweets and treats and all of the goodies for school. And it's just big and exciting and different and fun to kind of dust off those. You know, Love that. end of summer yeah. blues. And you had like my that. kids at sweets. Yes. <laughs> you fill it up with sweets. You're like, I'm ready to go back for now. Right. <laughs> when this thing's empty, I'm coming back home. Right. <laughs> nice. I nice. love the idea of having traditions. I'm totally. trying to recall if we even did that, really. I mean, there was the happy dance that moms do, right. <laughs> the jumping for joy in front of the bus. Yeah. 
Yes. Um, the other thing that we did suggest in our blog post would be having um, like a back to school bash, getting some of your friends together, whether you go to the same school or not. I know for us, all of our friends don't go to the same school that we do. So summer is a great time to get together, but you may have missed them, which we miss several of our friends that yeah. we really love. So just trying to get together, maybe have an ice cream social and talk about what you're doing next year, see if you've gotten your teacher assignments, all of that. Yeah, definitely. So there's, there's more, I'm sure, but you know, you can find all of this information, like Stacy said, on Jack's mom's blog. Always so much to see, and we'll make it really easy. We'll actually link to it on rivercitylivetv.com. Stacy, thank you for joining us. Thank, thank you, you so much. All right.